Hey guys, so I'm back from vacation. Uh, I had a great time in Ireland and Scotland and I did a book haul while I was there. I visited three different bookshops, I think. One of them was in Ireland and then the other two were in Scotland. And I ended up buying four more books, even though I told myself I wasn't going to do that, but I couldn't help myself because I saw all the UK covers of books and Honestly, I like a lot of the UK covers more than our covers here, so I couldn't help myself. Also, at the one store that I went to, they had a buy one, get one half off deal, so I kind of saved money. That's my reasoning for it, but I know that that doesn't, like that's not helping in my not buying books kind of thing going on right now, but anyways, so I have four new books. Uh, as you'll notice, I'm in front of a new bookshelf today. This is Marcus's bookshelf, so there are quite a lot of books on here that I don't personally own, but I will be excited to read after Marcus has read them, of course, because that's his rule. He has to read them first before I can, so yeah. But a lot of them are fantasy, as you can see. He also has lots of fun knickknacks on this shelf, as you can see here, a little TARDIS. I got that for him. He's got uh, Sirius's black swan right here. Also, on the top shelf up here, he has a green and black dragon egg, using it as bookends. So yeah, from time to time, you're gonna see me film on, in front of my bookshelves, but I will also be filming in front of these bookshelves because I go back and forth between places. I'll be putting together a video about the vacation coming up soon. I just, I only got back recently, so I haven't had time to put that together yet and go through my phone with the footage that I took or the photos that I took. I just don't have, I haven't had time to do that yet, but I will get to it so you will get to see about my vacation. Um, there's lots of cool places that I went to. I'm excited to share that with you guys. But for now, I'm going to show you the book haul of what I bought while I was over there. So these are the books that I hauled. As you can see, I have five here. I did mention that I bought four, which I did. One of them was given to me by my boyfriend, so I'll talk about that as well. So this one's called Last Call at the Nightshade Lounge by Paul Kruger. Uh, this one was gifted to me. I actually discovered this one on Drums and Autumn's channel. I, I'll put her in the description down below, but she just made it sound so cool. It's essentially about these kids that they um, get together at this lounge and they create different concoctions of drinks and the drinks give them uh, superpowers. So then they use those powers to um, progress forward and I think fight evil, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, it just sounded really cool because I had never heard of anything where you would like mix drinks and then all of a sudden that's like a superpower and you could do different combinations to get different things. Like I thought that was so cool and I was very intrigued about it and um, Drums of Autumn really liked it too. So I'm excited to dive into this one. So then the books from the UK that I bought were One of Us is Lying and Two Can Keep a Secret, both by Karen McManus. Now, the reason I bought these books is because my mom's name is Karen McManus, and that is honestly the reason why I bought these books. Also because I did hear that they're good books from certain people, so I'm excited to dive into them, but I also wanted to just show my mom that I have books that were written by her, even though they're not actually written by her. Her initials are Karen E. McManus, and this is Karen M. McManus. I also love that these had the sprayed edges, so they have two different wonderful colors two colors that I really like. And yeah, these are the UK editions. You've probably seen the other ones for the American covers, but I really like these covers, so I'm pretty excited to add these to my shelf. Next up, I got City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab. Now, I don't have any Victoria Schwab books, but as you can see on the shelf, Marcus has some Victoria Schwab books, so I'm excited to dive into this one. I honestly thought this was a standalone, but then I did some research and found out that there's another one coming in September, so I kind of started another series for myself, but it's not that big, it's not that big of a commitment, like I can definitely get through this pretty quickly, and I've heard a lot about Victoria Schwab, and I've heard that she's a great author, so I think I'll be good with this one. And the last book I got was Five Feet Apart by Rachel Lippincott. Um, this book I just really wanted to read ever since I saw the movie trailer. I honestly had never heard about this book before, but 
But then I saw the movie trailer. It's friggin' adorable. Like, I know it's out already and I haven't seen the movie yet because I want to read the book first. But I feel like it's going to be a whole Fault in Our Stars situation again. And I absolutely loved that book. And the movie was such a tearjerker. So I'm really excited to read this one and watch the movie right after. Also, the book cover is just beautiful. Like, I love this book cover. And the writing is quite big. So I feel like I can get through this in, like, no time at all. So that's my book haul from the UK. Um, I will be getting to you guys soon with my other video, like I said before. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment on the books that I picked up. If you've read them, let me know. I would like to hear your opinions on them. I think that'd be fantastic. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.